Hey guys, before the video begins, I want to make sure that I give you guys an opportunity to check out the ebooks or paperback books that we have available on Amazon.com. I'll list it in the link in the description area below. First, we have Mike the PI's Quick Guide for First Timers to the Philippines. Of course, we have Mike the PI's Quick Guide on why all men should travel more. We have Mike the PI's Quick Guide for empowering black men to travel more. And then, of course, my all time favorite, everybody's favorite, everybody's favorite book on Guys Green Earth, of course, The Prescription for Guys Interested in Dating Filipino Women. Make sure you check out the books today. Now let's go ahead and get the video started. Hey beautiful people, how's it hanging? Dr. Mike back again once again with another classic video for you guys today. Of course, Dr. Mike is reporting live from the Sorry Sorry store. Got my little refrigerator back there where we keep the cold drinks. You see all the stuff behind me. Yes guys, this is the traditional, official Philippine setting. Every store should have a Sorry Sorry store. And maybe I'll explain while I'm here before this video comes out. Maybe you'll learn about it after it comes out, but eventually you'll know what's going down. Alright? But if this is your first time watching a Dr. Mike TV video, by all means, make sure you hit that subscribe button make sure you hit me up on IG make sure you email me make sure you check out the ebooks make sure you do everything all of that stuff is in the link in the description area down be low all right guys of course you can see the smile on my face I am happy to be where I am blessed to be here blessed that I finally got a chance to make it back happy to be in my element all right <clears throat> But with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the video today because I feel like this is very, very important for us foreigners to understand. You got to know this. Guys, you have to understand the difference between single versus single and available when it comes to Filipinas. All right. This is very, very important. All right. Very, very, very important. So make sure you guys take your notes. Make sure you get your pen, your paper, your iPad, your, your phone, whatever it takes so that you guys can understand the difference between single versus single and available. Now, a lot of you guys would be like, oh, Mike, if a girl tells me she's single, that's enough for me. I don't care if she's going to let me, you know, do what I want to do and we can do this stuff like that. Why do I care if she's single or single and available? If you're trying to start a relationship with somebody, this is going to be very, very important. Okay. No matter is that understanding and establishing and defining what single is. When a Filipino says that she is single, all right, single definitely refers to her relationship status on paper, all right? So when you say that you are single, that just means that you are not married. That just means that you are not married but separated. That just means that you are not in a particular relationship that is defined on paper. Understand? Single in the Philippines means that yes, you are single based on your relationship status on paper. Single does not mean that she does not have a boyfriend. Single does not mean that she doesn't have a man on the side. Single does not mean that there are not a lot of guys out there trying to be her suitor. You understand? So when you ask the question to a Filipina, are you single? And she says yes. Always follow up with are you single and available? You understand? Because single and available actually defines her status. There's no way to get around that. Single and available basically means, look, I am single, I am looking, I am open, and I am free to be in a relationship with you. Now, why is this important? Kind of hard to get around dating a girl who's in a relationship. Kind of hard to get around with dating girls that have been married. Kind of hard to get around with dating girls that have kids and, you know, putting themselves in situations like that because, again, you can get in extreme trouble for adultery if you are trying to court or be with or in quote close quarters or alone with a Filipina who is married to somebody else maybe they're separated but still on paper they are married you know and I don't want you guys to fall into the trap or fall into that particular situation where you could be extorted <laughs> you know because that stuff can happen I'm not saying that it will happen I'm just saying that I don't want it to happen Ming if you don't shut up <laughs> that's the cat anyway like I was saying um you always have to make sure you define or talk to the girl and make her really define what her relationship status is in order to make sure that it's worth it for you to move forward. Now, again, of course, you can be with a girl who's in a relationship or something like that. Low key, you can be doing your thing. You know, it does definitely open up the doors. If she's open and you're open, who knows? Who cares? Do your thing. Who am I to say? Bahalaka. Up to you. But I want you to understand that you have to make these girls define the relationship, make them define the relationship status. 
Because if you don't, you could find yourself in trouble. Now, again, like I said before, if a girl says she's single, that's pretty much good for a lot of you guys. I mean, hell, all you want to do is just hook up anyways. <laughs> Let's keep it real. But if you are looking for a girl that you can be in a relationship with, you have to make sure that she defines to you that, or make sure she reiterates to you or explains to you or makes a statement to you that she is single and available. She is single and available to you in the relationship. She is able to open herself up to you in a relationship should the relationship go further than one night stands and just being with the girl for a short period of time. You know, a lot of us guys are looking for good women. All right, a lot of us are looking for one. And if you are at that particular stage in your life where you're trying to find somebody to settle down with, you have to make sure that that girl defines to you that she is single and available. Because she can't, she can't get her. If you understand, if you understand the questioning, you have to realize she cannot get around that particular question. Because when you say available, you're saying I'm not married. I'm free to be with you. I'm free for everything. She has to literally define that. Because if you just ask, if she's single, yeah, she may be single in the moment. She may be single for that day. She may be single for that hour. <laughs> you never know. So you just got to make sure that you lay it to. You have to make sure you lay it on thick, and you have to make sure that she defines it for you. Again, if you're looking to push forward to having a future with the individual Filipina, you have to make sure that she defines to you that she is single and available. Operative words, single and available. Not just single. There's always a difference. Never, ever, ever forget that. There is a difference between single and single and available. All right? So this has been my time, ladies and gentlemen. Talk to Mike Report live from the Star Star Star. Maybe I'll explain it later. Maybe you'll already know about it by the time this video comes out. Maybe I'll have to explain it to you in a future video. Doesn't matter. Having the time of my life chilling here, giving you guys as much knowledge as I can. I am reporting live from the Philippines. I am still here. You don't see these in the United States, man. <laughs> sorry, sorry, stars, man. They're, the, they're, they're basically like a step down from like a convenience store. You know, people put these up in front of their house, which I am in front of a house right now. You see the window, that's a bedroom. Um. You know, here in the Philippines, it's very, very good to have a sorry, sorry store. You know, keeps the income coming in. You're not going to get rich, but you can definitely make a little bit of money. You know, keep the lights on. You know, make a little bit. Make yourself happy. Just make it like a little side extra income. And luckily where the location of this particular sorry, sorry store is, there's not too many sorry, sorry stores nearby. So I guess I can say that it does pretty well here. All right. So with that being said, Dr. Mike is officially out. At least Nicole, I alarm, which means I am going now. Bye-bye. As always, love you guys. Mahal kita. Mabuhay. Peace.